Hey everyone, this is George Cross, and welcome back to another episode of Mindset Monday. Hey everyone, it is George Kuros, and uh, just this is the third episode of season three of Mindset Monday. And I was thinking about this question, and I'm recording this early August, just about to go on to basically a speaking tour, uh, which is typically what I do every single August. Uh, and one of the questions that I've been getting, and I was thinking about this quite a bit, is how do I stay motivated? This excitement that I'm feeling from your talk today, uh, you know, and that's part of my job is to get people really pumped up and inspired. And, you know, I, I was thinking about this, the, the things I'm trying to do is really kind of celebrate people, make sure they feel valued. Uh, the second thing is to challenge people and make, you know, push them to, to achieve more, um, you know, than they're doing. You know, I think this is something growth is really important to me. And then the third thing that I try to achieve in everyone that talks is I, I, I inspire and motivate people to see that they can actually, you know, hit those challenges. And not to get them feeling uh, overwhelmed, but just whelmed. That's one of my favorite things, isn't that? We don't want them underwhelmed, we want them overwhelmed, we just want them whelmed, right, at that point. And the question that I get is that people walk out, they're really excited, they're pumped up, they're motivated, and they'll say, well, how do I keep this all year? How do I keep this motivation all year? And I'm going to answer that, but in a second, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to tell a little bit of a story about my last night. Um, last night, uh, I was flying in to uh, Orlando, and one of the things I'm realizing about living in Florida in summer is that it is stormy. <laughs> there are storms galore, and they tend to happen at night, and typically they happen uh, in the afternoon, and uh, I, I was actually about to land and uh, I was flying, you know, after an event, everything was on time, beautiful. We're about to land. And right about we're about to land, uh, I noticed the plane's going down and then it starts going up. And there's like an up sound that I just do not like. And then I look out the window and there are storms and it's bumpy and it's, you know, just kind of going a little bit crazy out here. So this is not something I'm used to uh, at this time of year. And so we're, we're about to get there. And, uh, and so I noticed we go up. And then we start circling around. I was like, okay, so, you know, it's, they're obviously outweighting a storm, blah, blah, blah. So we circle and then we're about to go down. It's really turbulence, high, high turbulence here. It's just a little terrifying. And then we start going down, about to land. And then we go up again. And it is super bumpy and terrifying. And what they said is like, hey, we're going to actually, we're going to run out of gas. So we're going to fly to an airport um, about, you know, 25 minutes away so we're not going to land in orlando uh you know based on our scheduled time so they actually you know land um about you know three hour drive you know i think it's like 25 30 minutes away um, from this airport in fort lauderdale so we actually land in fort lauderdale not knowing if we're going to get you know back to orlando and it's obviously way past the time i'm supposed to land and it's getting really really late at night so they decide they fill up for gas hey we're going to try it the storm seems to have passed and we go back and then it's again uh, you know, terrifying. Uh, it's still a little bit stormy. We do the up down thing again, which is always really scary. And eventually we land. So we land. I'm like, oh, finally, even though it's super late, we're gonna get home. But because they had to land at a different terminal, the person that, you know, put the gate, they like actually missed the gate. So they had to wait, you know, uh, another hour or so just to connect the gate. And, you know, I'm like, some people complain about this. And Here's the thing. I, I'm all about, like, I don't want to land in storms. I don't want to get struck by lightning. So you do what you need to do. I know I'm super inconvenienced because, but, you know, I'd rather be inconvenienced than, you know, not land. <laughs> so you, you get it, right? I'm sure, you know, it's a plane. It's pretty amazing technology that we have. So I get home super late. I don't get home till, um, you know, obviously late. And then, you know, have... Uh, this is like my one day that I have kind of to get stuff done. And then I'm out. I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm exhausted. And even though I'm exhausted and it was a rough night, I got up and I did my workout, did the thing that I had to do. I have a goal for steps. I have a goal for push ups. I have like certain things I have to hit every single day. And I did them and I'm tired, but I did them. And I think for me, when I was talking to this group yesterday, I said, look, motivation is not the key. When you're thinking about motivation, we're often thinking about what people do for us, right? That people get us inspired. And I think sometimes it's good, right? Uh, I love, you know, once in a while working with a trainer 
or, you know, hearing an amazing speaker, things like that too, because it gets you pumped up, but you know, it only lasts a little bit. You can't have that trainer all the time. And if you do, it's going to be very, very costly. And probably you're not really learning to figure out things on your stuff, your own. So instead of focusing on motivation, the focus really is about discipline. How do we become disciplined that we do the things that we need to do when we especially don't want to do them? And that's the key. And what I was thinking about this morning as I'm doing this workout, and I was thinking about this as I'm sharing this, is that when you think about discipline, when you think about this, it actually leads to motivation. That if you are disciplined and you stick with the things that you have to do that when you don't want to do them, what it actually leads to is results. And the beauty of results is that once you start seeing growth, that's the motivator. And you tend to learn to motivate and inspire yourself. And I was thinking about that on, on, on a personal aspect. But I was also thinking about this on a professional aspect. Uh, years ago, I, you know, when I was an administrator, I would spend my whole day at, you know, uh, at school. But before that, I would go to the gym in the morning, I would teach a class and, um, you know, get a great workout in, go to work. And then I would actually at night go and I would write every night and I would, you know, blog and put stuff together. And that blog eventually led to books, right? And the discipline was for me at that time, writing when I didn't want to write, showing up and, and putting in that time and effort. And eventually it led to things that I didn't even know I could achieve, which I think is really, really incredible. And I think that's the motivation. So as you're kind of thinking about this today, as you're thinking about, you know, how will I stay motivated? It's the wrong question. We need to figure out how do we stay disciplined? How do I do the things when I don't want to do them? How do I actually find that motivation within myself through keeping discipline and finding results? And so that's why I really think discipline is way more important than motivation because discipline is something that you depend on yourself to do. And the beautiful thing about that, I always control my actions. I always control the things I have to do. Motivation is dependent on someone else. Let's say you get that motivational speaker that shows up and they're not very motivational, or maybe you're just not feeling it that day. Maybe you're just not feeling the mood. And then what? Then you're in trouble anyway. But the thing with discipline is that that's something you can do every single day if you choose to. And it is a choice. And I think that's what people struggle with. But the beautiful thing is that if you stay disciplined, you'll see results. And once you start seeing those results, that growth, it's going to actually motivate you. And the beautiful thing about motivation that you can develop in yourself is it actually helps you stay disciplined and the cycle will just continue. So I was just thinking about that as you're thinking about some of the struggles that you have, whether it's personal, professional, whatever, don't focus on motivation, focus on how I stay disciplined, because that's something you can control within yourself. Just something I was thinking about. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it. It's just something, you know, I get a lot of questions about this and I just wanted to kind of put this down. I wrote about it last night too. And I'm going to share it in my uh, weekly email uh, prior to this podcast being shared. But it's just something I want to share with you all. And to be honest, yeah, I don't even know if I wanted to do this podcast today because I am so exhausted. But I, I committed to myself that I was going to get some podcasts done on this day because it's the one day and I like to get my stuff done early. And so here I am trying to model the things I'm talking about, discipline, uh, sticking with what I committed to, maybe sometimes even when I don't want to do it. But you know, it's beautiful is that now that it's done, I feel good that I got it done. And I think that's part of the discipline. That's part of the motivation and the results that you get from it. So thanks again for being a part of Mindset Monday. I hope you have a great week ahead. Thanks for all you do. Take care.